Hi, I'm Izzy Hossack. Welcome to Wild Dish. Today, I'm going to make some vegan baked donuts. If you want to see more recipes from me, click here to subscribe. So we're going to start off by making a flax egg, which is basically like a vegan substitute for eggs when you're baking. So all you need is ground flax. You can buy this in health food stores or online. It's really easy to find. It's quite cheap as well. So you've got one tablespoon in there. And then you just mix in three tablespoons of water. And this is a substitute for one egg. So it's quite liquid right now, but it will thicken up. So just set it aside. And next we'll do the dry ingredients. So I've got wholemeal spelt flour here. And I find it's actually nicer than using just normal wheat flour because the bran is actually much finer in this flour. So you don't get as much of a dense donut, but you can use whole wheat flour if you want to. And then I've got 50 grams of demerara sugar. This is just because it's going to be vegan. You know it's not processed with bone char. And then I've got some ground cinnamon, because I love cinnamon, so I'm just going to add in half a teaspoon of that. Some baking powder, just two teaspoons so that you give it some lift. And then just give that a bit of a mix. Then we can put the wet ingredients in. We're going to go in with four tablespoons of olive oil. If you just use a light olive oil, you won't actually get the flavour in the end so you don't have to worry about it tasting weird. And then I've got some oat milk here as well. I've got 125 mils. You can use almond milk or soy milk, but I like to use oat milk. And now we can add in our flax egg. And then just stir until it's combined. Now we can put it into our donut pans. You can get these on the internet or sometimes in like speciality bakeware stores. I've just greased them with a little bit of oil. And the easiest way to do this is actually if you take a sandwich bag or plastic bag and then fill it with the batter. Because if you use a teaspoon, it takes forever. So if you just cut the corner off, you don't want too small a hole because you want to actually be able to pipe the batter in. And I've got two different sizes of pans here. The bigger ones will just take a bit longer to cook, but that's mainly the only difference, really. I think the smaller ones are nicer for if you're having like a party or something, you can have it more like finger food rather than having it as like a dessert. And now these can go into the oven at 180 degrees C between eight and 12 minutes. It kind of depends on the size of your pan. You just want it to be puffed and slightly golden around the edges. And now we can make the glaze. So we're gonna start with a block of creamed coconut. It's also called coconut butter, but if you buy it as creamed coconut, it's actually cheaper. And we're gonna turn this on. So we'll just let this melt down over a medium heat until it's liquidy. So then we can add a little bit of maple syrup as well, just to sweeten up a little bit. This looks good, and now it's ready for the donuts. You can just tip these out. I might need a bit of coaxing. And grab your glaze. Just smear a bit onto each donut. And then I've got some desiccated coconut here that you can just dunk it into, just so that it looks a little pretty. These are perfect for like birthday parties because you can just bake up a whole batch of them and leave them up for people to take and everyone really likes them as well because they're donuts. So that's them done. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Wild Dish for more sweet treats from me and I'll see you next time.